in the long run it's going to depend on the results of the phase three trial um, which is finished accruing and uh, but won't report for another two years uh, whether individual health jurisdictions are going to approve it for reimbursement is the crucial issue uh, I know it's going to be um, appraised by our own uh, our own body in the UK that does that nice um, sometime early next year probably um, and I think that the the way I'm seeing it at the moment is that that's looking at doxorubicin as a single agent with olorantumab whether there was a survival advantage in phase two uh, that's a different population of patients from those who uh, benefit from intensive combination chemotherapy uh, as we showed in the study that I did with the URTC and as Alex Gronke has shown with the Italian sarcoma group study so there's complementarity there it's not all patients um, who would necessarily be treated with oratumab unless there's another study which adds that drug to a combination of ifosfamide and doxorubicin and demonstrates superiority over ifosdox alone um, that's going to take some years I guess um, so I, I don't know I think uh, the other the other new drug uh, of consideration is aribulin of course in uh, in liposarcoma um, but again, issues about reimbursement uh, apply there too. These are expensive drugs.